Uriapa, a student from PSN Science 2C, and I will provide you the information of the short story named The Old Woman of the Candles by Kevin Piamonte. So before that, I will provide you the background information of the author of this story. Kevin Peter Amado Pison Piamonte, or also known Kevin Piamonte, is the author of this short story, namely The Old Woman of the Candles. He is considered as an Elongo film, theater director, scriptwriter, fictionist, and an actor as well. He was born on March 2, 1996 at Iloilo City. His parents are Angel Jover Piamonte, and Rosalinda Fuentes Pisan. Kevin Piamonte is currently an associate professor at the Division of Humanities, College of Arts and Science at the University of the Philippines, Visayas. Lastly, he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Broadcast Communication and Master of Arts in English Language. So before I will tell you the story of the old woman of the candles, I will provide you the information of the characters in this story. So the characters of the old woman of the candles are Lola Conchin. This character is an old woman from this short story with a strong faith. Bert. The character is a friend of Dora. Dora. This character is a granddaughter of Lola Conchin. And we also have Tio Lindo, Tia Patrin, Joey, Nikki, Damian, and Rana. So today, I will provide you the summary of the short story named The Old Woman of the Candles. So I will light it up, this candle. The summary of the short story named The Old Woman of the Candle that is written by Kevin Piamonte that promotes the culture and tradition of Christianity towards a certain community. This happens during the crucifixion and the death of our Jesus Christ that is annually held in the month of April and classified as holiday during the Holy Week. The short story started with a man named Bert patiently agreed to the agreements of her best friend Dorai to stay with her at Dorai's grandmother's home for the celebration for Holy Week. Dorai and Bert have been classified as best friends for a long time since they know each other from college and both of them usually spend their summer time at beaches as they find peace and serenity with this setting. On the day of Holy Thursday, at Il Ibahay Aklan, it is the place wherein the people in this community are getting ready for the celebration and preparation for the setting up for her Lola Conching's Santo Interior. Bert, whose best friend of Dorai, will help with activities for the upcoming Holy Week. Moreover, Bert realizes and learns that the Santo Interior uh, promote, protected the home of Lola Conching for a long time from those bad creatures such as as wongs. Nonetheless, on that specific night, Bert is dreaming of the stolen Santo Interior and quickly sends the news and information to Lala Conchi, and they immediately proceed on their way to the church to witness this miracle on the day of Eastern Sunday, which signifies the day of Jesus Christ's resurrection. The settings and the atmosphere of this story happen at the Ibahay Aklan, wherein the plot of this short story happens. This place is wherein they celebrate the Holy Week and find the implicit meaning of the resurrection of our Jesus Christ at Eastern Sunday. The theme of this story is to be grateful for the things that fill our life. The author uses the characters of the old woman for us to allow ourselves to be thankful 
for what we have and to be hopeful that we, there is still a room for chances. Above all, whatever we have now is a grace given and provided by our highest power in our heaven. That would be all. Thank you.